Hi guys. Oh, hello Maggie, you and us too. Hi guys. Um, the reason I'm on just now and the reason I look so bedraggled, look at my ponytail, it's absolutely ringing and making my neck wet, is because, oh God, is this really dark? Ah, no, okay. Is because I've just been out in the field trying to catch my two cockerels. Now, we've got four chicks this year, three of which were from one uh, hatching and I thought they were all cockerels. The fourth one was from a different hatching and I'm fairly positive it's a hen. It's gone. One of the three cockerels, which we thought might be a hen, it's gone. It's only gone next door. So that leaves us the two cockerels and Kraken. Now, Kraken is only a year old. He's a healthy, strong cockerel. And these two young cocks are now starting to take an interest in the hens and he's not having any of it. Now, it's really quite interesting. We've all heard of pecking order and the way that hens, the newest hens or the poorest hens will be the ones that the rest pick on. Right, well the cockerels, for obvious reasons, are picked on by all the hens. They're the two youngest and they're sort of ostracised because Kralikon won't let them near the hens. However, one of the hens has defected. She's left Kralikon and has been with the two cockerels for the last two days. Now, I went out there last night and found the two cockerels standing with their heads down. I actually thought it was Kranachan and son of Kranachan because he looks, they look so alike. But as I got closer I realised that one of them was the white cockerel, only she was so covered in mud and blood that she just looked like Kranachan. And the two of them had fought themselves to exhaustion. They were stood there, I picked them up one at a time and put them in the hen house. They won't go in the hen house until Kranachan's up on the top perch. And the hens are up because if there's any hens still down, they'll go for the hens. Then Kranachan will come down and be a big furore. So, <laughs> basically if all the hens are up, I can put them in. So, <sighs> went out again today, obviously in the morning, and the two were together again. And the black hen was with them again. So I went out and fed them this afternoon and the two were running around the field, the rest were all in. So I thought, this isn't good. Went a look again and found one in the bushes, sort of in between all the branches and that, and the other one hiding underneath the, the egg laying section of the hen house. So I thought, right, time to separate them. So what I've been doing is I've been outside in the absolutely pouring rain, I'm absolutely drenched, my trousers are wet, everything, and I've taken the two hen runs over to the nesting box, which is a twin nesting box, so I can put one cockerel in each. It means they don't have their freedom, which I don't like, um, but they're not going to kill each other. Um, hopefully I've got someone coming to take one or both of them. Now, he says it's for going on his croft and I really hope it is because I could put them in the pot myself but I don't really want to. <laughs> They're awful bonny cockerels. So that's it, just a quick story and I hope everybody's well and take care and bye.